Welcome to the Majestic tutorial on creating and using reports. There are two ways to create a report using Majestic data. You can create either a standard report or an advanced report using Excel. When setting up either report, you will have the option of whether to use the Fresh or Historic Index. Majestic's Fresh Index includes data crawled within the last 90 days and the historic index, which calculates all the information we have ever crawled over the last five years. Standard reports will show you the most important backlinks coming into a website, whereas advanced reports will display all the backlink data for any site, so you can then drill down into the domain, subdomain, URL or path level, as you have the ability to do online with the Site Explorer. Both reports are tracking reports and they're a great way to track activity coming into a website. They'll note the trust and citation flow scores, total number of external backlinks, referring domains and subnets. Plus, the data will be presented to you in a linear graph and also in a table form which can be updated every two or three days. It's just a matter of how detailed you want the report to be. Once the report has been created, everything will be available on this page as a static report. If our crawler finds some new data specific to the report you've created, we'll notify you by adding a blue refresh button within the My Reports section of the page. You can go into your reports area, click on the blue refresh button and update the report you've already ran with the latest crawled information. This feature means that you'll not eat into your monthly data, as we're just updating the report and not creating a whole new one. It's probably worth mentioning that your monthly resource allowance, as noted within the plans and pricing page, is the number of lines of a report that you can run. So the bigger your subscription, the bigger the reports you can run. Let's take a closer look at Advanced Reports. Clicking on the report will bring you to the Overview, where you will see new backlinks and referring domains as seen in the Site Explorer. The first table shows the top anchor text, where you have the ability to click on specific anchor text to see the exact link, the source, the target, link type and date found. This function is available throughout the whole report. The second table shows referring domains with slightly more information. For example, the IP addresses are also noted here. In the summary, we show top pages where you can see which page on the website is getting the most links and where they're coming from. A good tip is to use the analysis options within these four tabs to drill down into the data and pull out the exact information you need. Target allows you to look at all the backlinks to a specific URL on the website that you're analysing. Source allows you to filter a date or period of time, as well as including particular URLs and domain names to analyse just those backlinks. You also have the option to exclude anything you wish to be admitted. Although by default, we automatically exclude deleted, alt text and mentions. If you wish to include these, just untick the boxes. To look at one specific link type, please check the included box. Anchor text allows you to filter out or in any precise anchor text you may be interested in. Flow metrics allow you to take a look at the trust flow and citation flow of the links you're analysing. If you change any of these options, update and force analysis will let you see the changes within your report straight away. Just updating the options will save these for the next time you refresh your report, but not apply the update to the statistics that you're currently looking at. Advanced reports also include many subcategories, such as history, link profile, countries 
anchor text, domain URLs, top-level domains, referring domains, IPs, subnets, and top backlinks, whereas in a standard report, you would simply see the top backlinks. Top backlinks is an excellent option to do a quick search as you have the opportunity to search in URL or anchor text, further filtering and ordering options as well. By default, we show the top backlink per domain. This can easily be switched off or increased by clicking on the drop-down menu. Remember, you have the option to download all these links within a report, exported as a CSV file, using the download options, where you can continue to cut, highlight and analyse the data. Just don't forget to update the data as you use your report, so that you keep and maintain the freshest information possible. You can also jump straight into a report from the Site Explorer when signed in by clicking on to the Create Report button or use the Report options in the My Reports section. Thanks for watching and happy reporting!